<sighs> I'm already tired. <laughs> Welcome to my horrendous looking closet. Today you will be watching me decluttering and organizing everything. I have not touched this closet in a year, so I am excited to take everything out and Marie Kondo the life out of it. Now let's get going. This week's shout out goes to Alice Tan 29 She posts a lot of natural makeup tutorials and sometimes covers popular Korean and Chinese pop songs. To receive a shout out in next week's video, just watch till the end to see how you can. Just like Marie Kondo says, the first thing I gotta do is take every single thing out of my closet. So that's what I'm gonna do right now. Okay, so that's everything in my closet, and now I need to take out everything from my dresser drawer. Enchanté. So now that my closet looks like this, the next step is to sort the clothing into yes and maybe piles. The yes pile is going to be everything that I want to keep and sparks joy, and the maybe piles are things that I'm going to be trying on and sorting into things that I want to sell, keep, and donate. Not believe that I had this much clothing in my closet that I just don't even wear that's insane so now we're putting everything away back to where it belongs the things that I said yes to and that I'm keeping oh yay me now I get to try everything on and see if I'm going to keep it or sell it or donate yay I'm so excited kill me now I bought this four years ago because I thought I was going through a preppy phase, but I never even wore it once. See, look, it even has the tag. Goodbye. I wore the life out of this when I was 22, but to be honest, it has not aged well and it really doesn't look like good quality, so I think it's time for this to go as well. Thank you for all that you have done for me over the years. Goodbye. The reason why I kept this around so many years because it's from Michael Kors and it's good quality. It's not my style. So this is going to go to a good home on Depop. This was my favorite sweater when I was 18, but honestly, I feel like I've definitely outgrown this style and it's time for it to go to another home. This just looks terrible on me. I know I just bought this t-shirt from Yes Style, but to be honest, I wasn't exactly very happy with the design when it came in the mail. If actually, if anybody wants this in the comments, please DM me on Instagram. Like you can buy it off of me for like half the price. Ooh, my host family mom gave this to me and I like wasn't sure and I want to give it like one more chance But this looks amazing on me. No, 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 no My friend Eugen gave this to me last summer, but it never really fit me perfectly I think this will have a better life somewhere with someone else on Depop. Thank you for all that you have done for me and Eugen I've had this coat since I was 12 like my friend's uncle had a warehouse and he was giving away like all these clothes So I got it but if I haven't been able to wear this properly in 12 years, I think it's time for this to go. I bought this dress when I was 21 at an ethnic store in Chinatown in Manhattan. And it's so beautiful, but I never wear it. And like, it's a little bit baggy, but like it's supposed to be baggy. So I'm not really sure whether I'm like into it or not. I'm gonna keep it. I'm not even gonna try this on. It has a stain in the back. Okay, A, I think I've gained weight because of quarantine, but besides for that, hmm. Yeah, I think it's time for this to go. My roommate gave me this skirt a few years ago when I was living in New York, but it doesn't necessarily spark joy. I mean, it does look good on me, but there's nothing in my closet that I actually can wear this with. Yeah, this is gonna go. As much as I wanna get rid of this, there aren't so many companies that make good quality jean skirts that have no slits in the back and cover your knees. I'm just annoyed because it's a dark wash and I wanted a light wash, 
but I am keeping this around. I have no idea when in the future I'm going to want to wear this again. I'm really upset about this skirt because it's from the 60s, but it's too short on me to be able to wear without a skirt underneath it. I just need to be able to figure out how to wear this, whether I should add a headline to it. But then the thing is, is that that'll like ruin the 60s vibe of it. You know what? I'm going to keep it and then I'm going to talk to a tailor and see what I can do. This is a good skirt. I've actually never worn this, but if I can patch up the slit in the back, I can use this for underneath things and I'm keeping it. This on the other hand is an ugly, bad quality skirt that I don't like and I'm giving away. Goodbye. So this is what I am selling and this is what I am giving away to Goodwill. At first I was a little bit concerned that I didn't actually give away so many clothes, but now that I look at it, I filled up this entire garbage bag of clothing, so I think I'm okay. So just reminding you how it looked like before, and this is how it looks like after, all Marie Kondoed and folded nicely away. And now for the big reveal. Yeah, I can't actually clean my closet that well because I am renting and my host family uses my closet as a storage space as well, so there's not much I can do about that. Sorry. To receive a shout out in next week's video, just comment Aaron Tveit down in the comments. And I'll see you next week.